I'm sure by now you might have noticed that some of our Nottingham brothers who are protesting are carrying Russian flag. I might have been asking, why are they carrying Russian flag? Anyway, that is where I come in. Let me explain. To some of our brothers who are protesting, especially from the north, they believe that carrying Russian flag is an invitation to Russia, I mean Putin, to intervene in the matter happening here. Now, this is what they need to understand. Russia cannot intervene in a civil matter because we're not in war. No other country is fighting us. The only people fighting us is our government. And they are fighting us with hunger, you know, starvation and every other thing. So Russia cannot intervene in a civil matter. Now, there's an international law that restricts Russia and every other country from intervening in a civil or intervening in a civil matter because what is happening in Nigeria is a civil matter. It's the citizens versus their government. Now, there's a law that is called out to pay, which is responsibility to protect. And our country, our military country, which is our government, they own that responsibility to protect its citizen. It's only when they can no longer protect us, that is when Russia can come in. And the only ones who can call Russia is the Nigerian government by writing an official letter formally inviting them through UN. So the citizens of Nigeria cannot, by carrying flag, invite any country, including Russia, to come and intervene in a civil matter. The only people who have the right to invite Russia or any other country into Nigeria is the government by writing, officially inviting them to come and intervene in the matter because the country military or the country government can no longer protect its citizen for whatever is happening. It might be war, it might be starvation, it might be hunger, it might be intruder coming into the country. So the only way they can come in, including Russia or any other country, might be US, UK, or any other country, is when the government of Nigeria or when the federal government of Nigeria officially writes them through UN, United Nations. That is only time Russia can intervene in our matter. And even if Nigerian government writes Russia to intervene, the United Nations have to investigate the matter to know if it is up to standard, if it's that dangerous for Russia to intervene because Nigeria still own that out to P, which is a responsibility to protect its citizen. That is a world law. Another way Russia can intervene in Nigeria matter is when it has to do with humanitarian intervention and UN, the United Nations, has to also approve their intervention. So in conclusion, carrying Russia flag to protest cannot bring Russia to intervene in your civil matter because if Russia should intervene, they are breaking the security code, which is the RTP, which is responsibility to protect because Nigeria government and its military still have that responsibility to protect its citizen and they have not called out to say that they do not have the strength or the ability to protect its citizen again because the matter at hand right now in Nigeria is still a civil matter between the citizens and the government and the government we're talking about, we democratically elect them. So we elected them is not that they forced their way by military to go there. So the Russian government cannot help you. You have to help yourself. That is the be that truth. According to the word law, you can search about it and Google it. It is free on the internet for you to know. So carrying Russian flag does not actually help. So it helps you better when you are protesting with Nigerian flag. It makes you more a Nigerian. It makes you, you know, patriotic to your country and the nigerian military respect the nigerian flag than the russian flag you are carrying because the russian flag you are carrying is an intimidation to nigerian military i hope this explanation helped you to understand why they are carrying russian flag and why it will never help